Yo, it's D Nice, and I'm talking about the Bear Bee Napper. I've had it for six months, and so I have some thoughts about it. I don't know anything, but <laughs> this is the one that I own. It is the Blue Sapphire uh, Velvet in 15 pounds. So you can kind of see how big it is this way. It's definitely 15 pounds. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's gorgeous. I really, really love it um, for the aesthetic reasons. And it lives in my living room on my couch. And it really makes my couch, my orange couch pop. And I got my orange couch from <laughs> apartment 2B. And yeah, so apart from looking really nice, um, it does have some pitfalls. So <laughs> I'll talk about that. Um, for one, it's, you know, it's a weighted blanket. It's pretty heavy. Um, 15 pounds, so I would not say that it's cozy at all. <laughs> like, having it on my couch, it's it has its own spot <laughs> because you can't lay on it. Um, it's so clunky and chunky, and whereas a regular blanket you can just throw and you can like lay on it, um, this one you can't. <laughs> because if it's like bundled up weird then you're literally laying on lumps so you have to like spread it out and you have to do this and that just to get comfortable um so it's really annoying to have to move around and so i don't <laughs> move it around very often and my dog lays on it all the time my dog loves laying on it but that being said it's also pretty hard to clean like there's no way to actually really clean it. Um, the instructions on the website once said to like have it dry cleaned, but then like when I actually got it, the instructions said something different. So I just started ignoring the instructions completely and just decided never to really like do anything with it <laughs> or touch it. <laughs> and so um, that's kind of where I'm at with that. I can kind of spot clean it, especially if there's like some dog spit. Um, I can just get a rag and clean it off. Um, but overall, I can't see myself ever really being able to clean it. And right now, on the website, they don't even have the velvet ones. So you can buy the velvet on like other stores because they carry all of the velvet colors. But right now, from what I saw, the velvet ones aren't on there. And so that's kind of a large pitfall is like, I just can't clean it, can't wash it. I spray it with a fabric freshener um, every now and again, just because. Um, but luckily my dog doesn't shed. My dog um, is regularly bathed and she doesn't, you know, chew on it or mess it up or anything like that. Um, but the other part that so aside from not being able to lay on it moving it around is really annoying and not being able to clean it the next thing is that the loops so um let's get this guy back out here i keep getting like these random really big loops that come out and i have no idea how to put them back in and I don't even touch this blanket like ever. <laughs> and so it's kind of weird that it just kind of bunches up and then it gets really loose in places. Um, and I have no idea how to fix it, but maybe someone who knows about knitting or something <laughs> would know how to do it. And it's just like on random corners and things like that. And um, yeah, so I don't know. That's kind of annoying too. And I try not to touch it or I try to like kind of loop it through where I think it's going, but that's kind of, <laughs> uh, I try not to mess it up. <laughs> um, so those are my main negatives about the blanket um, with like heavier use. I don't really know how it would stay together very much. But 
The nice thing though, I will say it's, I have had it on me and um, have like taken a nap with it and I don't get hot, so that's really nice. I don't have much to compare it to in terms of other weighted blankets, but I never get hot in this one, which is super nice and sometimes I'll be cold on the couch and I'll put that on me and then like it's sufficient enough, like I don't feel like I'm still freezing or anything, but I also am not getting super hot and sweaty and gross and stuff. <laughs> so, um, but I do really, really, really love it because of how it looks and how it looks on my couch. That The aesthetics of it is really nice, but it's, I paid $288 for this one and that's the 15 pound one. So I know that the larger sizes cost even more. So that's a pretty expensive blanket if you're spending near $300 on it and I waited and I waited and I waited and then I was like, I really want it. <laughs> so I bought it and uh, the store also says that they never have sales because they think everyone should pay the same price the whole time for it or something. Um, so I mean, that's, you know, cool for them, I guess. And yeah, so those are my, my, mainly negatives, <laughs> but some positives that yeah, it doesn't make you hot and it looks really nice. So um, it's definitely not cozy. I think if you saw me trying to even put it on myself, like I would not call it cozy at all. Like my robe is cozy. Other blankets are cozy because you can just throw them on, you can like wiggle in them, you can like do whatever. But with this, it literally just lives on you in whatever fashion you want to put it on your body. And I would not call that cozy <laughs> at all. Um, so it's just not very malleable. It's just, it's hard to pick up and move around. And it's just, if you don't have it laying exactly flat on yourself, you're laying on a big lump and clump of just, you know? And so, it's a, but I think that's why my doggie loves it because she can lay in all the little crevices of the clumps and it like makes a little nest for her. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, uh, those are my thoughts on the Bear Bee Napper after six months of ownership. But yeah, thanks. <laughs> so if you guys have any questions about the Bear Bee Napper or if you wanna tell me what you like about it, let me know in the comments below. And if this video was helpful at all, thumb it up. All right, have a good day, bye.